Okay, but God blessed Joseph even when his brothers tried to harm him. God has a wonderful plan. Now Jacob, I mean Joseph, he was sold by his brothers. That was terrible. But in Genesis 39 2, the Lord was with Joseph so that he prospered and he lived in the house of his Egyptian master. So the Lord was with Joseph. He was sold by his brothers. Humanly speaking, he had all reasons to be complaining, but he did not. He continued to have a close relationship so that because the Lord was with him, so that he prospered. Because he, even when he was suffering, he continued trusting God. He relied on God. So he has a close relationship with God. And then God caused him to prosper. So that is what happened that that when we trust in God, even when people mistreat us, we'll say, I turn off what they do to me. I don't have to mind, but I can deal with the problem. Now, these are two different things. One is not to be affected by them emotionally. emotionally. And then secondly, I can try to handle it by negotiation, by talking and uh, talking about it gently, not accusing. Genesis 50, 20. That Joseph said to his brothers, You intended to harm me, but God intended for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. So his brothers want to harm him, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is done on that day, the saving of many lives. So God can use something like that to bless us. So we don't have to be affected by bad people who mistreat us. Even when we go through difficult times, God is with us. Psalm 23, 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, when I go through the most difficult times, I will fear no evil. I will not fear any evil people or evil things that happens to me. Even when someone tried to hurt me or did something that hurts me, I don't have to take it personally. I don't have to be offended. I can you know, ask God to give me wisdom how to restore the relationship and how to restore what He has stolen. Like some people try to say things against me behind my back. I try to settle it, but sometimes we cannot settle every person. Some people keep doing that. Then it's God is for God to take care of it. God will protect me. So that person doesn't, you know, cannot continue to harm my ministry. But there are some people who like to gossip. So we we need to learn to turn off people who gossip about us. And because the Lord is with us, and His rod and His staff they comfort me. Uh, his staff is. The, the shepherd used the staff to guide the sheep and the rod is for beating the sheep when the sheep is not obedient. So even when God disciplines us, when He guides us, those actions comforts me. So God is with me all the time so I don't have to be afraid even of the shadow of death. Okay, God's nature to help us not to be affected by people. First, God is with us all the time. God is omnipresent he knows what we go through so when we go through difficult difficulties even before we were we were a christian god already knew and god has a plan to heal us one day and he can protect us from wicked people he can protect us but we still face wicked people we always face wicked people you know if god is to protect us from any wicked people then we have to take us to, to heaven only in heaven there are no wicked people. So on earth we'll always face wicked people. But God will protect us so that these wicked people cannot steal God's perfect plan from us. The most important thing is He cannot steal God's plan. Even if He steals money, it doesn't matter because God will give me back. God will give me back the money. So I don't have to take, you know, offended if He steals my money. Or even if He says something that try to hurt my reputation god will restore my reputation and i can restore my re reputation with what i can do 
whatever I can do. So God will protect us from the wicked people. And He cares about us. He won't let people steal our blessings. So He cares about us, those who love God. He will prepare for us things the eyes have not seen, the ears have not heard, and the human mind cannot think of. So He will prepare for us wonderful blessings. So we, we don't have to fear people that they will steal from us. God cares about us. Now these are the nature of God. God is with us. God can. He has ability to protect us. He, he has an ability to care about us. And He can greatly bless. He has ability to bless those who love Him. So we don't need to fear people. Okay, God's grace to help us not to be affected by people. God has a wonderful plan in our lives. He wants to do great things in our lives. He helps us to enter His plan. When we love Him and enter His plan, He won't let people steal from us. So it's very important that He has a wonderful plan. He wants that plan to come true. He will help us to enter that perfect plan. So He won't let people steal from us if we love God and obey God and serve God. So when we, the most important thing we can do for our lives is that we love Him, we trust in Him, obey Him, and serve Him, and then He will protect us. He has a wonderful plan. He will not let anyone steal from us. So in heaven, he, has, he doesn't have to apologize to us and say, Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to protect you. So those people steal your plans so you could never become a, great, become a great person. He won't have to apologize to us for that. He will say, I have done so many things in your life. Even when these people hurt you, I was blessing you. I was blessing your life. I was transforming your life. That in this process that you're hurt by people, you grow more and more in me. You become stronger and stronger, and you were blessed in the process. And He knows what negative people want to do to hurt us. He will use this suffering to help us trust in Him, and this suffering will benefit us when we love Him. So He knows what these wicked, wicked people, negative people want to do to hurt us. And He will use this suffering to help us to grow, because when we suffer then we rely on God more, we trust in God more, we pray to God more and that will give us strength. And then this suffering will benefit us when we love Him. When we love Him, all things will work out for good, for the good for those who love Him. So when we love God, even when people mistreat us, it will be for our benefit. Because when people mistreat us, then we learn to trust in God, we will learn to cry out to God, we will learn to uh, put down what they do to us, what they say to us, and we rely on God more, and then when we uh, treat them nicely, we repay them with goodness, then we glorify God. Even when they continue to hurt us, we repay them with goodness. Then our action will glorify God, and God is very happy. When God's name is glorified, God is very happy. So we want to continue to repay wickedness with goodness. Then when we treat people nicely, then God is blessed, I mean, uh, God is glorified, and God is very happy, and God will bless us. And God works in all suffering to benefit those who love Him. So, all, in all suffering, God will benefit us. And the Holy Spirit will work in our hearts to help us love Him, and not to be affected by negative people. So the Holy Spirit will work in our hearts to help us love Him. Because when we love Him, then we have all the blessings. And help us not to be affected by negative people. It's very important that God help us not to be affected by negative people. God helps us to, you know, in every area, when we talk about grace, we want to talk about how He wants to help us and how He helps us to transform us and give us strength and guidance. And He rewards us. Okay, four, five. God in His Word teaches us how to handle sinners. So, His Word teaches us that we don't have to be afraid of them. So, God's Word teaches us, give us wisdom. And six, God rewards those who love God and choose not to be affected by sinners. So, God will reward those who love Him. And then we choose not to be affected by sinners. So, you can see that here, you can see how I talk about uh, God's grace that He has a wonderful plan, He knows the negative people and He will uh, use these negative things, this suffering to help us 
and God works in all suffering to benefit us and the Holy Spirit will work in our life to change us so that we'll love Him and not to be affected by negative people and he will, His Word will teach us and He will reward us. So these are what we can talk about when we talk about God's grace, okay? And you can listen to my message again and then also I can send you my uh, uh, the PowerPoints in PDF form so that you can, it's smaller in, when it's in PDF form and then you can uh, read this again. So how to overcome? How? What we can do? We don't put trust in people. Psalm 146.3 Do not put your trust in princes, princes, in human beings who cannot save. So don't put our trust in people because people will die. And people also have limited strength. Even when some people seem to have much strength now, it won't last for a long time. This, they don't have unlimited strength. Do not be anxious because of wicked people. That if they are wicked, we don't have to be anxious about them. Psalm 37, 7. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret. It leads only to evil. So, when people, you know, they seem to succeed in a way, when they carry out the wicked schemes, we don't have to fret. We don't have to feel unhappy. We don't have to be angry because of that. We don't have to be affected emotionally. So refrain from anger. We can tell ourselves. Now the way to stop anger is not by suppressing our anger, but to say, I have no reason to be angry with him. He cannot steal from me. God will continue to bless me. No one can steal the blessings from God, from, uh, from, God, from me. God has a wonderful plan. He will protect me. So I don't have to worry about uh, being stolen, that our things being stolen. He cannot steal from me. So then we calm ourselves down. I can choose to be peaceful. Then I have more strength. I choose to be joyful. I have more strength. So turn from wrath. Do not fret. It leads only to evil. So when we are unhappy because of the wicked people, it only leads to evil. So this is another way how we can overcome uh, not, to, uh, not to be affected by negative people. What people say would just stay in the air for one second or less than one second. We don't have to take the negative words seriously. It just stay in the air. They say, you're full. It doesn't mean I'll become a fool. When he says, you're full, it doesn't change me. I'm still the same person. I still have the wisdom of God. When they are unhappy about me, I'm still the same person. So I don't have to take that seriously. God will bless me when I obey Him. When I obey God, when I love God, God will bless me. And clear their negative words from our mind and fill ourselves with God's words. So when it says, you fall and he, they hurt us, we just clear our mind of those things. And we keep saying, God is loving me, God blesses me. And remember God's word to have strength and say, God... The Lord is with me. I shall not be afraid. So the Lord is with me. I shall not be afraid. I have all the strength. I have all the joy. God is a wonderful plan. So don't let. So these are practical ways. Now, how do we come up with these practical ways? It's from experience and from the wisdom of God. Now I pass this to you, and you can teach your people. What people say to you will just stay in the air for a split second. So we don't have to catch those words. We don't have to catch those words and eat them. Those are garbage. We don't have to eat them. So when people talk, we discern whether these words are gold from God or whether they are garbage from Satan or from people. If it's garbage, I don't have to take it. So when people are angry with us unreasonably, I don't have to take it. I don't have to be angry because of him. I don't have to lose my joy. So that's the main point. But people say, he mistreats me, I have to get angry because we take it, we eat it. You know, someone is wicked. Now, I, I use this hand to represent someone who is, who is wicked, okay? It's a bad person. This is me. This bad person has a lot of sin. 
do I have to let his sin cover me and give me a burden? I don't. He has a lot of sin, that is his problem. He is a bad person, that is his problem. I, I try to help him, but I don't have to take his garbage. What he says to me, I don't have to take. So this is very important teaching. So this is very practical also. Clear all garbage from people and ourselves. How people hurt us and criticize us, we, have, we can put down. We don't have to mind, care about those words. How we dislike and despise ourselves. Now, we ourselves too, sometimes we say, I cannot do anything good. I'm useless. Nobody likes me. I cannot do anything great. We have to clear this garbage. We have to fill in with God's word that all the days of our lives that's ordained for me has been written in God's book. God has a wonderful plan in my life and I can enter the good and perfect will of God. So we don't feed ourselves with negative words. We feed ourselves with the word of God. How we criticize ourselves and have no hope. Sometimes we criticize ourselves and say, I'm no use, I'm no good, and then have no hope. Oh, I won't become better and better. We, we want to say to ourselves, I will become better and better when I obey God. My life will go higher and higher. So we fill ourselves with God's words and love. So all these negative words will go to the garbage can. We'll dump it. And five steps to victory. This is helpful for overcoming different things. This is for overcoming the negative influence of people. Be aware of how we are affected by people. Aware, first word. So the, look at the word, word in red. Believe that what when we are affected by people, is, it, it is destructive. When people can affect us, it is destructive. We don't have to be affected by people. Apply biblical principles to the problems. What does the Bible tell me to do? The Bible, Bible tell me not to fret because of wicked people. Um, we don't have to be afraid of them. We don't rely on them. So that's what the Bible says. And rely on God. Trust in God's goodness. And pray to have forgiveness and strength. So if I am affected by people, please forgive me. And for strength, help me not to be affected by them. Even when they yell at me, I can continue to trust in you. Now, I want to say it takes time to learn not to be affected by people. One time, so, um, a person a person said something very negative to me, and I felt very bad. And I and then I said I don't have to take it. And then I put it down. I prayed to God and asked God to help me put it down. Don't worry about it. But in the middle of the night when I woke up, I felt hurt in my heart. I feel I felt burdened. So I know that. I was still hurt. So I praise God again. I keep praising God. God will bless me. No one can steal from me. He cannot hurt me. And then I become calmer and calmer. And that doesn't happen again in the middle of the night. I can forget about it more and more. And I can let it go. So, so, um, so we can pray for forgiveness and strength and choose to obey. I choose to put down what he said. I choose not to be affected by him. I choose to rejoice in God. I choose to count the blessings of God. So the five steps to victory, I hope you memorize. Aware of the problem. Any problem will be destructive. And then Bible. What does the Bible say? Pray for forgiveness and strength. And choose to obey. To obey God. Okay, And love fulfill the law. Even when people mistreat us. Romans 13, 8. Owe no one anything except to love one another. For he who loves another has fulfilled the law. So even if when they mistreat us, we say nice things to them. And we give them something, a gift. Give them something to eat, to share with them. And we say, thank you for everything you've done. That you've done well to me. I thank God for those things that you've done to me to help me. Uh, so we treat them nicely. That is the way to victory. And even if we improve by 1% a day, we can improve much in 100 days. So keep encouraging ourselves. So even when we improve a little bit, today I can, I learn to, now for instance, before someone might take days or months in order to forget about someone hurting him. Now he can overcome that feeling in one day. Then he say, I'm, 
overcoming it. I'm getting better, even if I'm getting better, not a whole lot, but I still am getting better. Then, if we improve by 1% a day, I can start to pray for him, I can start to say nice things to him, I can uh, tr try to bless him and forgive him. Already, I'm improving. Then I'll say, thank God, I'm improving. Then we can encourage ourselves. Because Philippians 4, 8 says, Brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. So if there is anything good, even how we overcome the influence of negative people, that we are overcoming it, we are working on it, then we encourage ourselves and say, I have improvement. So the Bible does say, meditate on these things. Thank God that I'm improving. So I have worked on this thing. So this is something pure and just and true. And I have tried to bless him. This is something pure and just and true. So I can rejoice uh, that in that I am growing. So this is something we can remember. If someone just improve a little bit, we can say, you are getting better. If people just try to improve already, we can say, you are getting better. Thank God for that. Okay, so this is all for today, and we'll pray now. And ask for God's blessing to us, to help us to be able to teach other people to enter God's plan and not to be affected by people. Dear Heavenly Father, you can stand up. When you stand up, you can sense God's move better. You can sense the swaying of the body. Because when the Holy Spirit comes, sometimes we will fall on the floor. And then when the power is not so strong, sometimes people sway. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You're so wonderful. You're so wonderful. You have a wonderful plan in our life. You want the best thing to happen in our life. And you have, have the ability to make things happen in our life. And you want to give us provision and everything we need so that we can enter your perfect plan. Lord, help us. Help us to appreciate you. Help us to trust in you. Help us to love you and respond to you. And then you will give us things that we can never imagine. You'll give us wonderful things that we can never imagine. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We want to offer our body as a living sacrifice. We don't want to be conformed to the world. And we want to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. We want our life to be transformed by you, that we love you. And we want to learn not to be affected by people because there are many people who are affected by people and then they feel hurt all the time and then they feel angry all the time and they are affected by people. And Lord, help us to put down the influence of negative people. We don't have to take the words seriously. We don't have to take negative words from anybody. We can just neglect those things and say, Lord, it doesn't matter. And I can say nice thing to the person, thank you for what you've said to me, I'll try to pay attention to that, how can I improve? So we can say things nicely to them, to calm them down. Lord Jesus, help us not to be affected by people. If we are affected by someone now, please have, give us the wisdom and the strength not to be affected by them, that we can rejoice in the Lord. We can have strength in the Lord, that we rejoice in the Lord and have strength and be happy in the Lord, we can relax in God, and we have strength from God. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. You're so wonderful, and we don't want anyone to steal from us. And no one can steal from us when we love you and obey you. No one can steal from us. We don't have to be influenced by other people. Lord, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, and help us to enter your perfect plan. Thank you, thank you. Help us to start to bless the people around us. We want to do nice things to them, to bless them, to strengthen them, to encourage them. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Okay, God bless you, and I hope that you remember this and also how to teach people to appreciate God's perfect plan, to appreciate God's desire to help us enter His plan, how He helped us to enter the plan perfect plan, how He changed our life so that we enter the perfect plan, how He provides for us so that we can enter His perfect plan, and then how He rewards us when we enter His perfect plan. And also remember how God 
He wants us to be not to be affected by people. He has a wonderful plan to help us not to be affected by people. He works in our hearts so that we won't be affected by negative people. He also will bless us that these negative people cannot steal from us and He will reward us when we are not affected by negative people. So God bless you and God help you to grow in Him more and be able to teach well, to teach with God's grace. At the same time, we tell people what to do. Now you notice in the how, I tell people what to do. But the motivation comes from God's nature and grace. That I always tell them how wonderful God is, how wonderful His nature is, how nice He is, how He has treated us nicely. So we want to respond to God. And then when we respond to God, He will always bless us more and more. So this will motivate people to follow God and love God and obey God.